Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good jab. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one classic matchup. Oh, huge right hand! going and now the fight's over but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first you've heard us say it before but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight it can have a bigger effect it certainly did here tonight well he's going to enjoy watching this one back let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago it was